Dwayne Anderson is no ordinary man. He's a man with a dream. A dream to one day break into the music scene and release an album. Our cameras have exclusive access to Wayne's life. Over the next six weeks, we will be there for the highs. We will be there for the lows. We will witness Wayne's effort to break out of the rest home circuit and launch a nationwide music tour. We will be with Wayne as he heads to Wellington for the first concert of his tour and a guest spot on national television. I'm gonna try. We will be there for his triumphant return home and a concert at New Zealand's premier venue, Sky City. Gold finger. James Bond, James Bond. New Zealand's greatest singer, Wayne Niels Anderson, was born in the long hot summer of 1959. Wayne realised at an early age that he was special, blessed with a three and a half octave voice at the age of 12. Managed by Lou Clawson of Lou and Simon fame, Wayne was on the verge of the big time, but somehow fame eluded him and has continued to elude him for over 30 long years. My name is Wayne Anderson, I'm 43 years old and I've been trying to make it in the music business for 30 years and I've been very frustrated because every time I open my mouth people come up to me and say, they say what a wonderful voice you've got, why haven't we seen you on stage, why aren't you in Las Vegas, why haven't you made records and um, I'm still baffled to this day as to why it hasn't happened. Wayne's manager, Orlando James Stewart, is no stranger to show business, juggling full-time employment in a video store, as well as guiding Wayne's career. You know, it's not easy being Wayne's manager. He's got just such a deep passion and it just overrides everything else. Today's music is the range like... That's about the strength of it and uh, basically it sounds like you're opening your pots and pans cupboard and there's that avalanche of pots and pans on your kitchen floor, you know, it's just a, a music, it, it, not musical whatsoever. Whereas I can sing a clear note, la, 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 I can sing any type of note. Colonel Tom Parker had his hands full with Elvis and so too does Orlando with Wayne. Well, we've had some wins. I got Wayne a gig at a retirement village in Manurewa. That went well. Wayne may not have been playing Vegas, but with his manager's help, he had cracked the lucrative rest home circuit, and things were looking up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wayne Anderson. Just help yourself to my lips, to my arms. Just say the word, and they go. Just help yourself to my lips, to my arms, and then let's really start to live. All right. Just help yourself. However, six months later, with the bills mounting up and no new gigs, we find a frustrated Wayne looking for answers. Yeah, one of the things that really annoys me about Orlando, he's got a full-time job at this um, video store, and it, it really annoys me actually because 98% of his time is spent at this video store, and he's supposed to be my manager. 
but I think if he devoted his whole time to me specifically, I reckon we'd make a great team and we could really go somewhere. My business is a singer, you know, because I'm not interested in negotiating fees or wages or uh, getting myself venues or getting myself gigs. That's Orlando's job, not mine. What I'm best at is singing, you know, and everybody's good at certain things and I'm good at singing. That's my, that's what I am. I'm a great singer. If I've got to divide my time between singing and getting myself the work, then the singing's going to suffer. You know, what I really need minimum is one gig a week pays at least $50. I wouldn't sing for any less. Just to survive in, in Manurewa, you know. Yeah, yeah. this would be the one. This would be the one. Yeah, because it's got sausages in it as well, you see. Hi, uh, yeah, I was just ringing to see if you guys actually did any live entertainment. Um, yeah, I have a client, his name's Wayne Anderson, he's probably got the greatest voice in all of South Auckland, and uh, yeah, basically he does the Evergreens, Tom Jones, uh, Inglebert Humperdinck, Tony Christie, that kind of thing, and we're, we're just looking for work, basically, any kind of work, we can do 10 minute sets, 20 minute sets, he, he can sing for up to an hour. Oh, so you're in Henderson? Well, yeah, that's probably a bit out of our way at the moment. No, well, neither of us actually have cars, so... The, the thing is, with Wayne, uh, the problem we've got is he doesn't have a car, I don't have a car, so we have to walk to gigs basically or catch buses and uh, yeah I mean that's a bit of a difficulty for us at the moment um, but it's something we're working on so yeah most gigs that Wayne wants are around Manurewa yeah anything within walking distance and it kind of makes it hard makes my job hard well I've got 6,000 records CDs tapes and DVDs of all the greatest artists of the 20th century for 30 years I've been cataloguing these things, about 80 odd Eastlight folders containing the system, all written out personally by me in ballpoint pen and uh, I'll show you exactly how the system works. Turn the light on. From A to Z, A to Z, I've got every song in the house. For every song um, there is a page, like for example My Way would be in here under my for my way so what it is is I've got the song listed exactly who wrote it and who I've got singing it how many versions each artist does and the key that they all do it in and that that's not only interesting for when you um, judge who's got the best version but for when I perform the song I think to myself well yeah I would do it in Tom Jones's key in fact I would if I do my way I would do it in the key of F this is only one of about uh, six different systems I've got. Um, the other five systems are inside the house there. Turn it on, full of course. Sometimes I have sauce on the pie, but what I actually like, because I like things so hot, sauce is cold, you see, is I actually heat up some of this um, spaghetti and sausages and uh, use this instead of sauce, you see. So I actually heat that up and pour that over the top of the pie. So that way you've got a uh, you know, beautiful hot pie and you've got uh, some spaghetti and sausages uh, piping hot over the top of it as well. Yeah, so with my extensive knowledge of records and cataloging system, I feel I'm probably the best person in New Zealand to actually run a radio station. In fact, people walk past my house when I play the music fairly loud with the windows open and they say, is this a radio station? Or do you live here? And I said, well, um, yeah, I live here. But um, far more important than the radio station is uh, the fact that I actually need one gig per week. And that's to pay the power, pay the phone, pay the rent, and basically just keep my head above water, you know. And I've asked Orlando, my manager, to um, you know, give me uh, one gig a week, um, or $50, you know. 
and uh, that's really the most important thing at the moment and unfortunately that's not happening right now. Yeah, I'd describe him as uh, Manuriwa's Tom Jones. He's got a very big voice, um, you know, three and a half octaves, and uh, he knows the lyrics to over a, a thousand songs, the evergreens, really. Um, you know, uh, Tom Jones, Engelbert Humperdinck, um, Tony Christie. Um. Coming up after the break, Orlando has some good news. We've got an audition at this place called The Thirsty Dog and Wayne spends the afternoon with his stylist. I like to look like a man, not like a scruffy whip. It's 3pm and Wayne is at home in Manurewa giving last minute instructions to his personal stylist, Tracy. See, it's thin on the top, so what I normally get done is I get it done uh, to sit up on the top like a perm just through the top. But what I'm going to get done today is, is a, a complete perm and as tight as possible, just as tight, tight curls as possible because it's thin on the top and um, it can camouflage a little bit. It's like, would you looking straight on like that? So it's a sort of thick and full on the top as best you can because there's not uh, much of it. I don't want anything off the length, but you can tidy it up a little bit if it's mm -hmm. uneven, just a okay. bit, well, but leave the length lead the length and if it's bushing out like that which I don't think it is sort of just thin it mm -hmm. out like that so it looks higher on the top than it is in there you know that's the, more like that it's Tom Jones in 1981 more or less an afro with um, it's higher on the top than it is at the sides and tight curls so I'm going to try and um, grow the hair a little bit longer like what I used to have help yourself the sweetest things are there for you. Help yourself. Um, Tom Jones, Inglebert, Humperdinck, John Rolls, um, all have extremely strong, manly voices, and they dress well and uh, look like real men, as opposed to the uh, you know the wimpy, effeminate, um, sort of vaguely bisexual um, look of a lot of the younger groups, with uh, the weak voices and. Uh, you know, the scruffy clothes and the holes in the jeans and things like that. I'm uh, not a fan of that sort of thing. Sweet Caroline, good times never seem so good. Meanwhile, Orlando is heading out to Manurewa to tell Wayne the good news, that he has an audition at a local venue. Well, I just have to see Wayne now, actually. You know, uh, we've got an audition at this place called The Thirsty Dog. So I think he's going to be real pleased about that. Do you go to um, Manurewa? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, I'm just looking forward to seeing Wayne and actually, you know, some good news for a change. Bloody sound comes in sometimes. Channel One. My Channel One's weak, eh? My Prime's perfect, but my Channel One is weak. Other people are the other way around. Sometimes yeah, their no. Prime is weak. Certainly a first for me. Any other person of note that I've done before is um, Peter Sinclair. Mm. Uh, laughter is a wonderful thing. Um, it takes seven more muscles in your face to frown than it does to smile. Mm. And that's why most of my videos are either music or comedies. So it's, uh, it's I like to keep the atmosphere light. And I suppose you're doing a, a, an extra careful job because I'm an entertainer, are you? <laughs> Hang on. There you go. Hello. Hello, Orlando. What are you doing? Well, actually, I'm just getting my hair done. It hasn't been done for a couple right. of months. I've got this lovely great, prof looks great. professional lady called Tania that's doing a great job. Oh, of let's a, go through. I've got some, some news, Wayne. Have you? Yeah. Thirsty dog? I think it's like a, a K-Road night spot, you yeah. know? Tom Jones. It's always the top. We do some Roy Orbison, Pretty Woman, um, Only the Lonely. Have you got your CD still? I've got my CDs there. Awesome. Yep. So the more the bolt goes out of there, the more the top looks higher yes. by comparison. I think that's the best perm you've had. Man, it looks kind of like Poodle's fur. How's that? Oh, right. What yeah. What do you think of that, Wayne? Fan bloody tastic. It really means you don't notice the, the thinning here as well. That's right. I've got yeah. fairly thick hair around the sides and the back. It's just a little thin, thinner on the top, so that sort of camouflages the fact that it's going thin. Give us a look. Give us a look. 
Definitely. Yes. That looks bloody good, Wayne. It blends in with the rest of the hair, doesn't yep. it? But we'd better hurry anyway, so pay the lead. Right. Let's go. I really wouldn't be prepared to do it for any less than 100 because it's way to hell in there. If it was in Manurewa, I would do it for 50, but um, you know, getting a, a bus, you know, several buses all the way in there and all the way oh, back. It's just a live business, mm. is, you know, it's a tough business. Yeah, yeah. What's the time now? 5.45? 5.45? Oh, one almost, one almost right now. Oh no, 5.52. What in seven minutes time, that's the one to go. One in seven minutes time, that'll be, that'll be the one to get. Two things have happened. I've got my hair done and we've got a, a gig. Well, we so, haven't got the gig yet. But, um, well, we're going to, for the audition, yeah. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes, yeah. After the break, Wayne gets a pie. Yeah, bacon and egg. Nice. Nice, nice and hot. Mm. Lovely, bacon and egg. Orlando brings the wrong CD to the audition. Testing one, two. No, that's one of your CDs. No, no, that's the one that was in there. What? And negotiations over the fee get tense. I'm just just saying with the, with the travelling, you know, that would be the min minimum I would do it for. Sure. It's a busy night on Auckland's notorious Karangahapi Road, and with a lot riding on this audition, Wayne and Orlando take no chances. Well, what kind of pie do you want, Wayne? Have we got enough money for one? Oh, Burger just 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 right. Steak and cheese. What about sausage? What's that drum? bacon and egg? Good bacon and egg, is it? Uh, bacon, 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 bacon and egg, is it? Yeah. Yeah. G'day, mate. How much is that? Yeah. It's not good to sing on a full stomach, but it's not good to sing on an empty stomach either, so haven't had anything since breakfast this morning, so this will be fine. Something nice and hot and nourishing. So, this is a bar there. Like I said, I want someone big get in there and kick their asses. Yep, yeah, well, as long as I'm comfortable with uh, <clears throat> the setup and. After you, Wayne. Uh, now, Wayne's after a gig here. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm his manager. Uh -huh. Basically, he's probably the greatest singer in New Zealand at this stage. Right. And yeah, okay. he's got a huge voice. Right. Uh, he's got a CD here. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Sounds right. So, um, testing one, two. Where's the, um, where's the, uh, CD? Okay, Delilah, number four. Yeah, number four? Mm -hmm. Give him number four a try. Mm -hmm. okay. Better be better than this on the night. <laughs> What's this one? Is this on the CD? Is that on the CD? Is that on the CD? No, that's one of your CDs. No, no, that's the one that was in there. What? Well, I've never seen that CD in my life. No! Well, that, that's the one that was actually in the car. I said to you I wanted to bring four CDs. CDs. Uh, well, well. well, I thought one would be enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll just sing you a song. Acapella. Okay, we'll, we'll just do it. We'll do it without. So mm -hmm. unfortunate, but you know. So this, um, is... this way you'd get an idea. Uh, what I was actually wanting with the backing was just a, an idea of the volume of the backing, but I assume it's around about the same as the microphone. Yeah. So you, you just listen to my voice and, uh, okay. and you can make judgment there. <clears throat> I saw the light on the night that I passed by her window. I saw the flickering shadows of love on her blind. She was my woman. As she deceived me, I watched her went out of my mind. My, my, my Delilah. Why, why, why Delilah? So before 
It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Only the lonely dum 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 do up. Only you. So, you know, you've heard what he's got. Then yeah. I'll take we, I'll take turns, yeah. we, we can put you. We actually do have a karaoke night on Tuesday. No, okay. We were thinking more of Saturday. Friday okay. or Saturday would, would suit me. Um, and what time do you like to go on? What about 8 o'clock? Is it 8, eight o'clock? Or? I reckon 9 might like, wait until it's a bit more for a while. Do you get more at 9 than you do at 8? Yeah, because people are going up later on a, on a Saturday night. Do you get more at 10 than you do at 9? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Wayne, your fee is... Yeah, what about looking house? About house <clears throat> house yeah, 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 100, 100, 100 bucks, bucks for now. 100 bucks? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good, actually. That's really reasonable. Yeah. One, yeah, yeah. $200. Yeah, well, I mean... I, I know I'm worth a 1000 but... <laughs> You've got to be, got to be right, reasonable. I'm just, just saying, saying with, the, with the travelling, you know, that would be the minim, minimum I would do it for. Sure, but, because you've got to, you've got to get a Because I live in Manurewa, you know, and yeah, I've okay. got to get, I don't own a car, you know, I've got okay. bus no, and so so stuff like that. 200 would, would, would be ideal because of the travelling. Yeah. Because yeah. you've got travel fees. Mm, travel fees, yeah. Okay, and plus <clears> fees, okay. It's terrific. We've got the gig. Yeah. Well, we made one mistake, we left the CD behind, but as I say, it didn't really make any difference because the vocal ability was the thing that they were judging on. And that's something I carry with me everywhere I go. Exactly. Yeah. I'm walking behind you on your wedding day. Coming up next week, Orlando quits his job. I have to quit. I can't work at the video store anymore. Wayne worries about his hundred dollars. Have I got my hundred bucks? And the team get down to business. If you put out a CD, how many do you reckon you'd sell? Would you say? Minimum. It's not